This is the story of the traveling doll maker. Don't turn out the lights. The story took place in a very small village a long, long time ago. Little William walked to school along a familiar road when one day he passed something strange. In an open field that had long remained empty stood a traveling doll maker's caravan. The caravan was breathtaking, displaying realistic, lifelike, beautiful little boy and girl dolls arranged neatly in colorful rows. William stopped and stared at the dolls, mesmerized, when the doll maker stepped out from behind his dolls. Do you like my creations? asked the doll maker. They're beautiful, responded William, unable to look away. Will you make me one? No, said the doll maker. They're far too valuable. William pleaded and pleaded with the doll maker. He'd sell, he'd steal. He'd sell all his possessions. He'd do anything if only the doll maker would just make him a beautiful doll. Finally, the doll maker responded. All right, but each of these dolls is based off of someone I know. They're my greatest joy. If I were to make one for you, you'd have to give me a gift that's equally as valuable in return. Anything. The doll maker smiled wide. Bring me back the most valuable thing in your home, and I'll make you a doll. I don't have anything of value, but my father might. I'll make you a deal then, said the doll maker. Tomorrow morning, bring me your father's greatest joy, and I'll make you a doll. They shook hands. That evening, William ran home after school. He searched his father's office for the perfect thing to bring back to the doll maker, but he was scared his father might notice if something too valuable went missing so he looked for something he could fool the doll maker with. He found a golden painted rock on the bookshelf. His father would probably never notice it was missing, and the doll maker would never know it wasn't his father's greatest joy. Proud of himself for his clever trick, William walked back to the doll maker in the morning. He handed him the rock with anticipation. This is not your father's most prized possession, said the doll maker, throwing the rock to the ground. I do not like liars. If you want me to make you a doll, Come back with your father's greatest joy. That night, while his father was at work, William searched high and low for the most expensive thing he could find. He opened the safe to find solid gold cufflinks. He surmised they must be worth a fortune. Surely the doll maker would want these. The next day, he returned to the doll maker with cufflinks in hand. Is this what you believe to be your father's greatest joy? Asked the doll maker. Yes, said William. The doll maker examined the cufflinks. I still don't believe you, he said, and now I'm growing angry. I leave in the morning. This is your last chance. Tomorrow you will bring me your father's greatest joy, if you want me to make you a doll. Growing desperate, William ran home with his cufflinks as the sun went down, hoping to find what the doll maker required. He burst into his father's office to find him home from work, toiling away at his desk. Where were you, son? asked his father, smiling. I was worried. What would I do if something happened to you? A chill went down William's spine when he realized what he just heard. You see, his father's greatest joy was him, and he couldn't very well give himself to the doll maker. He resolved to go back to the shop in the morning and tell the doll maker the deal was off. The doll maker was packing up his shop as William approached. I'm sorry, said William, as he looked one last time at the beautiful dolls. I cannot give you my father's greatest joy, after all, because my father's greatest joy is me. Oh, but you can, said the doll maker. His face turned hard as stone. That's how I make all my dolls. William's blood went cold when he looked at the dolls again, finally seeing them clearly. Every doll had realistic, terrified eyes like children trapped, frozen, and scared. He tried to turn and run, but his body stiffened. It was too late. The doll maker had his new doll, and William's father lost his greatest joy. The caravan traveled down the road to a new town, this time carrying William, just another doll on a shelf. Click here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV, and click over here for more videos. Comment down below what scary story you want to hear next. Don't turn out the lights.